staple food crops such as rice, wheat, maize, and potatoes, are essential agricultural commodities that form the foundation of daily healthy and balanced diet for the world's population. These crops are cultivated on a large scale in various regions around the globe to serve as primary sources of calories and nutrients, and ensure the availability of affordable and accessible food for the world's population. The most common and popular staple food crops, including wheat, rice, potato, maize, soybean, sweet potato, cassava, yams, plantain, sorghum, along with their origin, major producers, nutrition, and application in food are described here. Wheat is a grass-like plant that grows to a height of 2 to 4 feet, and produces spike-like structures called ears containing wheat grains. Wheat goes through stages such as germination and emergence, tillering, stem elongation, booting, heading, grain filling, and maturity during its life cycle. Wheat was domesticated in the Fertile Crescent around 10,000 years ago. The top wheat-producing countries include China, India, Russia, the United States, and Canada, with global production exceeding 750 million metric tons. Wheat grains are a rich source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, proteins, particularly gluten, vitamins, such as B vitamins, and minerals, like iron and magnesium, providing energy and essential nutrients. As staple food, wheat is widely used for making flour, which is used in bread, pastries, pasta, breakfast cereals, and other baked goods, as well as in the production of fermented products like beer and whiskey. Rice is a grass-like plant that typically can reach height of 3 to 6 feet, and produces long, slender leaves and clusters of flowers known as panicles, which contain the rice grains. Rice undergoes several growth stages, including seed germination, seedling establishment, tillering, panicle initiation, flowering, grain filling, and maturity. Rice cultivation originated in China and India thousands of years ago, Currently, the largest producers of rice are China, India, Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Vietnam. Global rice production surpasses 700 million metric tons annually. Rice is a good source of carbohydrates and provides essential nutrients such as B vitamins, iron, and magnesium. Brown rice is higher in fiber and certain minerals compared to white rice. As staple food, rice serves as a primary ingredient in numerous dishes, including rice bowls, stir-fries, curries, sushi, and rice puddings. It can be cooked and consumed as a standalone side dish or incorporated into complex recipes with meats, vegetables, and spices. Potato is underground tuber crops with a starchy flesh and a thin, brownish or yellowish skin. It comes in various shapes and sizes with a wide range of colors including white, yellow, and red. Potato goes through several growth stages, starting with planting seed potatoes or tubers, followed by sprouting, vegetative growth, flowering, and tuber development. Potato is native to the Andes region of South America, specifically Peru and Bolivia. Today, the largest producers of potatoes include China, India, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States. Global production exceeds 380 million metric tons annually. Potato is a good source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, vitamin C, potassium, and some proteins. As staple food, potato can be boiled, baked, mashed, roasted, fried, or used in soups, stews, and salads. Additionally, it is used to make potato flour, starch, and various processed potato products. Maize, commonly known as corn, is a tall, annual cereal crop that belongs to the grass family. It typically reaches heights of 6 to 12 feet, featuring long, narrow leaves and a distinctive reproductive structure called the ear, which contains kernels. Maize undergoes various growth stages, including germination, seedling establishment, vegetative growth, male flowering tasseling, female flowering silking, pollination, grain filling, and maturity. 
Maize is believed to have originated in Central America, particularly in Mexico. Presently, the largest producers of maize include the United States, China, Brazil, Argentina, and India. Global production exceeds 1 billion metric tons annually. Maize is a good source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, vitamin B6, folate, magnesium, and phosphorus. However, it is relatively low in protein compared to other cereal grains. As staple food, maize is cooked and eaten as corn on the cob or used in various culinary preparations. Maize flour is used for making tortillas, cornbread, and other baked goods. It is also used as a primary ingredient in animal feed and industrial products like ethanol. Soybean is a legume crop with a bushy and upright growth habit, reaching heights of 2 to 6 feet. It features trifoliate leaves and produces clusters of small, pale yellow flowers that give rise to hairy pods containing soybean seeds. Soybean undergoes growth stages starting with germination, followed by vegetative growth, flowering, pod development, and seed maturation. Soybean is native to East Asia and was first domesticated in China over 5,000 years ago. Currently, the leading producers of soybean are the United States, Brazil, Argentina, China, and India. Global production exceeds 360 million metric tons annually. Soybean is an excellent source of plant-based protein, dietary fiber, healthy fats, essential vitamins and minerals such as folate, potassium, and iron. Soybean is commonly processed into soybean oil for cooking. Soybean products include tofu, tempeh, soy milk, soy sauce, and vegetarian meat substitute. Additionally, soybeans are used in animal feed and as a source of protein in many processed foods. Sweet potato is a root vegetable with an elongated and tapered shape, and a range of colors from yellow, orange, to purple, and a sweet, orange-colored flesh. The plant has vining or trailing stems with heart-shaped leaves. Sweet potato goes through growth stages, including sprouting from vine cuttings, vegetative growth, flowering, and root formation. The vines spread along the ground, and the edible sweet potatoes develop underground. Sweet potato is believed to have originated in Central or South America. Currently, the largest producers of sweet potatoes include China, Tanzania, Nigeria, Uganda, and Indonesia. Global production exceeds 110 million metric tons annually. Sweet potato is a rich source of dietary fiber, vitamins A and C, potassium, antioxidants. Sweet potato also has a lower glycemic index as a favorable option for managing blood sugar levels. Sweet potato can be baked, boiled, steamed, roasted, or mashed, and is also commonly used in pies, casseroles, fries, soups, and stews. Sweet potato flour and starch are also utilized in gluten-free baking. Cassava, also known as manioc or yuca, is a starchy tuberous root crop with a cylindrical shape and rough, brownish skin. It has a white or yellowish flesh, and can grow up to several feet in length. Cassava goes through several growth stages, including planting stem cuttings, vegetative growth, flowering, and root formation. The crop requires a long growing season of 8 to 24 months. Cassava is native to South America and was first cultivated in the Amazon basin. Today, the largest producers of cassava are Nigeria, Thailand, Indonesia, Brazil, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Global production exceeds 290 million metric tons annually. Cassava is a good source of carbohydrates, and is relatively low in protein and essential nutrients compared to other staple crops. Cassava can be boiled, steamed, fried, roasted, or processed into starch, tapioca pearls, and chips. Cassava flour is used to make bread, cakes, cookies, and other baked goods. Yam is a tropical underground tuberous root vegetable with a cylindrical or bulbous shape, varying in size from small to large. 
It has a rough, bark-like, and light brown to dark brown skin. The flesh of yam varieties is starchy and can be white, yellow, or purple. Yam undergoes growth stages, including planting sprouts or tubers, vegetative growth, flowering, and tuber formation. Yam is believed to have originated in Africa, particularly West Africa. Today, the largest producers of yam are Nigeria, Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Benin, and Cameroon. Global production of yams exceeds 70 million metric tons annually. Yam is a good source of complex carbohydrates, dietary fiber, and various vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, potassium, and manganese. It also contains antioxidants and has a lower glycemic index compared to other starchy root vegetables. As staple food, yam can be boiled, roasted, mashed, or fried, and make yam fries, stews, soups, curries, pies, and puddings. Plantain is a tropical fruit closely related to bananas, characterized by its elongated shape and thicker skin, with a starchy, dense flesh. The skin of plantain is green when unripe and turns yellow or black when fully ripe. Plantain goes through growth stages, including planting suckers or corms, vegetative growth, flowering, and fruit development. Plantain is believed to have originated in Southeast Asia and spread to various tropical regions around the world. The largest producers of plantains are found in Africa, particularly countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, and Uganda. Global production of plantain exceeds 37 million metric tons annually. Plantain is a good source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, vitamins A and C, and minerals such as potassium and magnesium. It is low in fat and cholesterol-free. Plantain can be cooked at different stages of ripeness for different purposes. It can also be mashed, baked, or grilled as a side dish or main ingredient in various recipes. Sorghum is a cereal grain that belongs to the grass family, with a height ranging from a few feet to over 10 feet. It has a tall, upright growth habit with slender stems and long leaves. The grain comes in various colors, including white, red, brown, and black, and has a hard outer layer or husk. Sorghum undergoes growth stages, starting with seed germination, followed by seedling establishment, tillering, flowering, grain filling, and maturity. Sorghum is believed to have originated in Africa thousands of years ago, and has spread to various regions worldwide. The largest producers of sorghum today include the United States, Nigeria, India, Mexico, and Sudan. Global production exceeds 60 million metric tons annually. Sorghum is a nutrient-rich grain that is gluten-free and high in dietary fiber. It contains essential minerals such as iron, phosphorus, and potassium. Sorghum also provides B vitamins, antioxidants, and proteins. Sorghum can be ground into flour and used in baking bread, cakes, and other baked goods. Sorghum grains can be boiled, popped like popcorn, or used in soups, stews, and porridges. Additionally, sorghum is used in animal feed and in the production of sorghum-based beverages such as beer and traditional spirits.